This spring, American Olympian Tori Bowie was found dead in her Florida home. And this week, we learned that Bowie died at eight months pregnant and was undergoing labor at the time of her death. Bowie, a Mississippi native, won three medals at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Per the medical record, Bowie likely suffered respiratory distress and eclampsia, a severe condition that occurs in the second half of a pregnancy that causes the person to develop seizures, according to the Cleveland Clinic. Preeclampsia is one of the most common and severe disorders that occurs during pregnancy. The preeclampsia rate is 60% higher in black women than in white women. Black women are more likely to develop severe preeclampsia. So joining me this morning is Dr. Sunny Kim Ashi, an OBGYN at HGA Florida Memorial Hospital. Thank you for being here. And we know we have some special news. You just delivered a baby yes, an, hour, an ago. hour ago. Congratulations. Thank you. That is absolutely incredible. What That's was the baby's goal? name? Sammy. Okay, we're going to show some pictures of Sammy before we get to that. I think we have some here. Oh, there's little Sammy, an hour old. This is just absolutely incredible. Shows the great work that you do. That's our goal, to have a healthy mom, healthy baby. Yes. I love that so much. Well, now we got to take a look at some of the numbers that we're talking about black mothers now uh, having a higher risk during pregnancy that kind of put them at a higher risk of dying. What are those risks look like? How can they get to that point of having a healthy baby like what we just saw? And actually, this is a good wake up call for attracting the awareness of a black mother's uh, health care. Um, so I think it's all related to the social economical factors and very, very unconscious bias. So study shows the black mothers complaints are less heard and less taken seriously, less chance to see the high risk doctors and the uh, see the top notch doctors at the, uh, the good medical settings. Yes. So and when you say uh, black mothers uh, concerns are less heard, can you give an example of what that would look like? Yes, so we always g give the patients the, the warning signs, like uh, whenever you have a headache or chest pain, palpitation, and then kind of a brushed off. That's the, what the study shows. So the studies are showing that doctors are actually brushing off yes. the complaints by mm -hmm. these women. And then not just doctors, but the, their mothers or the culturally. So they need to ask doctors, you know, before the appointments, I always tell, tell my patient, write the questions down, bring somebody with you. I love having somebody um, with them so I get so much information about my patient's well, um, well-beings. And if you don't feel like you're heard well, then you need to ask with other providers. And what changes uh, do you recommend for doctors to see it? And also for the people around uh, these mothers? Mm -hmm. I think it's all education. Like HCA is a really, really into the black mothers, uh, the health awareness and the prenatal care, routine prenatal care strict uh, follow up. So I think uh, the education is very important. I educate my medical student residents about this, uh, the, the social bias together. And then my staff too, when they answer the phone calls from the patients, when they say headache, and they just bring it to me immediately instead of uh, waiting for one, one day or two days later. Okay, thank you so much. And, um, you know, what should black mothers look out for? Is there anything that, you know, black mothers can do to make sure that they are more safe and going to make it through sure. the pregnancy safely? So, as you said before, black mothers are high risk for the preeclampsia, preterm labor, and the postpartum hemorrhage, and, and gestational diabetes. So, strictly, I mean, you have to follow up on the uh, prenatal care, and if you have a headache, or swelling, excessive weight gain, chest pain, palpitation, bring it up to the doctor's uh, attention, yes. This is such an important topic. Thank you so much, doctor, for joining Thank us you. and talking about this. I know this is going to help so many women who are out there. Yes.